Valley. Mac Pedraza, the reigning Big Ten Center of the Week, finds Zoe Weatherington, who's been swinging, oh, playing here at Penn State after a couple of seasons with the Wolverines of Michigan. Cameron and Hannah joined Penn State. Yeah, especially because they had served really well against the Nittany Lions earlier in the season. Cameron and Hannah this time tools the block and her on the outside. Great pickup by Yosia. The libero will call her name all night long. Ali Holland's block out of bounds. Point. We talked about her attack. That was a great play. Keep it alive for Michigan State. Penn State then swats it out of bounds, and Michigan State gets a nice dig by Bilinovic in for Penn State. Penn State's picking on Hold'em, but she rises to the challenge again. Merzik saved it off the block. She gets a swing now. Off of Kulig, out of bounds, and Jeff was blocked, she was able to make sure it was out of play. That's a great set by Bishop to get it to cool her on the back row attack. Merzik off the pick. Really going. Hold them down the line, off the touch. Point Michigan State. Right now those service errors. <laughs> Bishop on target, but Penn State in system with Grimes the libero getting first touch. And then it to start the rally. Well, the jump serve is risk reward for Hold'em, and she's going to pick up the ace with that rally to within one. Pedraza goes to Hannah. She is two seasons outstanding presence, maybe playing the best volleyball of anyone wearing the black of Michigan State in that green. Nittany Lions to really keep up team morale. Grace Kelly goes through the block for the Michigan of 230 here in set number one. Hasn't been perfect. The slide for Allie Holland took a while to develop, but in this 2023-2024 season, Grace Kelly along the line. Cameron Hanna overpass and Evie DeZeman. As we are tied at 12, entertaining opening set. It's a dart from Holland, but long, and Michigan State retakes the lead. Michigan State. She kept it alive. Can she again? Testing hold on this time, and it's a Penn State. And another Holland again, now trying to add to what's a one point Penn State advantage. Overpass, waiting on the holiday break coming up. Nittany Lions by two, Michigan State needing a point, and that is Colin Keep Cog tonight against the size and physicality of Penn State up front, painting the back corner. Penn State and Michigan, respectively. Block up from Zoe Weatherington and Taylor Trammell. This time one on one. The Spartan service errors a problem early. Penn State in system. Weatherington rejected at the net. On the free ball, Penn State in system. And Merzik on target for the Penn State point. Far for number nine. I think, it, as I said, it's just her ball placement and the angle. She's really been able to find those ideal swings off of those. Just on Sunday against Purdue, last time out for Michigan State. Trammell off the block, it rolls along the tape. And Penn State's point. Duzema and MacArthur just a split second late that time. Bishop to MacArthur, and MacArthur drills it. One play. Spartans are 8-8 eight eight in the Big Ten, picked 12th in the preseason poll. They have exceeded expectations, trying to come on the road and pick up a big upset. Cameron Hanna off the block. Michigan State, a chance to add to its lead. Bishop on two, off the tape. Never five, win by two. Hold them out of the back row. Point Michigan State here. She has that international experience as well, playing challenge that Spartan attack. Great save by Pilinovic. And here is Merzik off the block. It's out of bounds at a Penn State point. Tip down the line. You'll see her again out of system with the bump set, and that sail. Mizinga to Moore. Grimes with a great pickup. Trammell out of the. Opportunity for the Spartans to steal set one. Moore with the kill. Mid things about that culture in the, in the Michigan State Spartans locker room is just their ability, like you said, to hold them with three kills in the opening set, three digs, as you saw moments ago. Zoe Weatherington slams it down. And Weatherington there against 19 MacArthur. Weatherington's mom, the head coach at Charlotte, coach McCartan lead after taking the opening set late. Weatherington, well, we see the power. She's got a little to hit the ball super hard to make a play happen, you go for it. After Yosia kept it alive once, Pedraza on. Ball over the net. Maddie Bilinovic talked about the spark she can provide off the bench, and Lions are in system. For Jess Merzik out of the back row. Mer Holdem's touch picked up by Merzik. Stark out of the back row, off the block. Lead. Great dig by Bilinovic. 
and Merzik completes it for the kill. Season high, 14 digs against Western Kentucky. Penn State was on the ropes in that match against Western Kentucky, but she was the 12th in the preseason poll and stole the first set tonight, and it's a service aid. Penn State out of system a bit here. MacArthur blocked by Trammell. This time they tried the outside. Her contributor had a great year this year for Michigan State. Trammell missed it down the line. Penn State stuff. Going right back to hold them. Down the line, missed it wide. With the Nittany Lions leading 10-8 in the second set. Spartans won the opening set, 26-24. Kelly down the line, sliding pickup Pedraza. Grimes with the set out of system. And Duzema rises high and gets the And Hannah off the block. And there's Hold'em tracking it down. And then at the net, night on Sunday at Purdue. And Michigan State, all those road tests this year, can they come up with a huge road win? One of those mainstays, all the puzzle pieces changing for Katie Schumacher, Cauley, Russ Rose, Legend. Merzik was blocked at the net. And then Cameron Hannah on the overpass. Right along the line, Grimes, and now it's Merzik dropping the hammer. But she's found and carved a nice role here and a key contributor for the Nittany Lions in the back half of the year, playing in that back. Mac Pedraza, transfer in from Ohio State, Big Ten setter of the year last year, reigning Big Ten setter of the week, watching Weatherington and Trammell come. Penn State right and you just look at the way the teams are hitting here in the second set. Michigan State, four errors. Uh, big kill for MacArthur, but Michigan State, four errors. Starting to lose that momentum a little bit. Monty MacArthur with her second kill. Let's see if that's a building block. No, on the overpass, Trammell's waiting for it. Weatherington's been all over the floor. Merzik out of the back row. And it's just had the soccer play to keep it alive. They'll need more than that to rally here. You'll see it with a great pickup for Michigan State. But then the attack is out of bounds. And Penn, Penn State scoring run. And hold them that time. Find space. Right is the match leader in kills. Cameron Hanna. Taylor Trammell one on. That block from from Trammell right there. She's just able to have that great read. And so far, they're starting to get their mojo back. Up at Rec Hall. Michigan State has not won here in a decade. Seven straight wins for Penn State at Rec Hall. Holland again. A lot of space on the court, which is a great thing. And an ace closes it out. Oh, Penn State. Watch. Well, as that one was coming our way to start this third set, I'm glad that you're sitting between Emma and myself <laughs> here and bouncing our way. I mean, that's what makes them great middles, and they get their job done. So Johnny's great. Resume there, Zoe Weathering. Individual, no matter the obstacle or the hardship that they may face, is that these athletes tonight are fighting. Off the block. Cameron Hanna rifles down the line. Gets to stay with it and uh, don't let one become two. Uh, side out fast and then roll with absolutely. Cameron Hanna pinballs around. And it'll be another Penn State. Uh, I'm glad you said that as well. I know Leah Johnson, the head coach from Michigan State, is going to make a donation to your foundation. They have speaks to, to so many people out there. Merzik off the block and just Merz. <laughs> no doubt about it. Boys and Johnny Parker will let her slide on out of here in just a moment as the kill for. Out to our uh, foundation website, chasinggreatness9.com. Um, like um, any assistance from us that we can give. Well, I don't know if you've ever considered a future in broadcasting as well, but it seems like Michigan State won the opening set. Penn State in the second set, 25-16. Merzik having a big night for the Nittany Lions. Right now. And we know how impactful Pedraza was uh, at Ohio State and the great teams they had the last couple of seasons. MacArthur, not that time, just that. Absolutely, and right now on a 5-0 and scoring run, the Spartans really have to start utilizing. With them here, late second set, early third set at recall. Absolutely, and I think we 25-16, so two lopsided wins, but then the Spartans out of nowhere came back and won the match, so don't count them out just yet, and off the block, absolutely dominated. Set four, all Michigan State, then exactly. that fifth set, all bets were off, each team with a three-point rally at the end, and the Spartans here as well. I mean, you never know what will happen until the sets play out. Yeah, that's what's great about a set. When it restarts, it restarts. There's more that has five cool Cooley has four tied with Duzema as well. So, I mean, they're definitely sharing the wealth. As well as defensively, that makes Penn State as dangerous a team as there can be in the country as evidenced by their outstanding play against. 
Serving for both teams a factor in that first set. Not really since, as Allie Holland, you know, we've talked so much about. And is on it, so it's definitely hard for Michigan State for Michigan State to be able to adapt and react. Cooley did just there. You know, she didn't play a ton beginning of the year. Starting mid-October, she took over. And she's been a bright spot for them with her size. Kept up her 1,000th career kill earlier this year against UMBC. Grimes is having an outstanding third set. And it 522 hitting tonight. Cameron Hanna, nine kills, 318 hitting. Penn State, 388 as a team. They have not missed. Kills on 273 for Holland. Penn State up to 395 hitting after a sluggish opening set. The block, once again. Leadership ranks third in the Big Ten, 15th nationally in blocks per set. They're going at her again here, and MacArthur finds able to kind of make that, those plays happen. The Nittany Lion lead is 11. The Nittany Lion lead. With how close the fans are to the court here at Red Call, makes it such a tough place to play. Penn State in the back row. Stanis Shevska got one, and this one's down in front of Hannah Leaps. And here comes Michigan State now. Bishop goes to Hold'em and Hold'em. To continue playing at their top level on, with all of their units. Cameron Hanna, yes, point Penn State. Of her swing, she's just able to make a great play out of that. We talked about so close to double figures, that gets her to 10 kills after nine back row as their libero. See if they can slow down that Penn State attack. Weatherington, wow, I mean, that for the right side, Zoe Weatherington. We talked about how she fits as that right side beginning of the broadcast and through. Grimes, good pickup along the line. Penn State's back row defense making a statement, and the block on Holland. Hannah Kulig tips it into the net. Point Penn State. Better than it, Mizinga helping her younger teammates get into position that don't have that same experience as Penn State. Get some fresh bodies out there. As Penn State had its foot on the throttle. And, and she can take off from almost any platform, it looks like. It's true. It's true. She really is able to just get that height, even as you see right there. Rotations out there on the floor. Villanovic's had a nice night for Penn State, as has Jess Merzik. The important things that she brings to this Penn State team. Got to give a lot of credit to Mac Pedraza as well. She has this Penn State offense hitting at a good Michigan State, meanwhile, coming in here, slumbering a bit, but... Thought upset early, they'll need to rally late as all of their rotations to be able to keep the rally alive. And, and Leah Johnson wants to transform it, and they have a great recruiting class coming in. Merz I think in a very similar way that we had seen the Nittany Lions, they're trying to find their puzzle pieces and really make them work. And I think right now they mix as well for Michigan State. This is Hold'em here who fires wide. Affect the match. And Penn State insists them after Hold'em coming out of the back row, and Merzik will sky in. Tonight, both in defense and behind that service line. On the overpass, Weatherington dunks it down. Too many E. Well, it definitely helped to a great degree. It was also something, that atmosphere, something that MacArthur had talked about. As um, Michigan State again has the answer for the slide. Holland up along with Pedro. Hannah rifles, point Penn State. Spartans units are not working well, but I think right now they're just trying to claw back in a, in a moment that. State has one last punch coming here at the Nittany Lions. And not quite. Serve going out of bounds that time from Mizinga. We looked at coming in. Pedraza on two, and there's Kulik on cue. <laughs> Specifically, you just said, Brian, in the blocking category, I think they would definitely be able to close the gap. Merzin for Penn State, 13 down the home stretch. Doesn't even have to set that one. It's another Penn State. Absolutely. I think they've really been able to just find their rhythm, both on all cylinders, as we said. Right, serves. Challenging serve. Penn State recovers. Merzik from way outside didn't have any 14. Well handled by Villanova. Merzik. Spartans be at Rutgers next. Uh, serve is long. Here come the Nittany Lions. One last swing. Weatherington rejected by Grace Kelly. It's a great block. Who will get the final Penn State points? Merzik tried to keep it alive. Kelly gets it. Van Eckeren taps Weatherington, who drills it down the line, puts it away. Penn State third Nittany Lion in double figures here tonight. So.